Yo, this is Tommy Boy TV, season three. Young Richie Rare, follow my Instagram. You see the vibe, you see the drip. We out here just smoking, chilling, and about to do our reselling shit. Today's something late. Little banter. On feet. Welcome know. back to the channel. It's your host the most Tomboy, Dublin and Crushing Tomboy TV. And welcome back to the channel. No, my lift is here, so I'm update you guys in a sec more about to do. Thank you. Nice talking to you too. Right. All right, have a good one. Everybody, welcome back to the challenge. Your host with the most, baby. Sorry for that foo foo intro, but today we're going to Louis Vuitton pop up by Virgil. And we ain't going with no whip, we ain't going with no train. We're going in style today, so um, it's pretty windy. I hope you guys can hear me somewhat well, but yes, yeah, sir. Yes, sir. We're going on some crazy ass flight right now. That's a fact. Um, I'm gonna record mainly. I'm doing this for the Supreme video. I'll show you guys a little bit of what's going down in this video. But make sure you check out the Supreme video for more details on it. But uh, let's so gentlemen, bro. Damn. Look at this, baby. Yo, yo, ma, check me out, mom. I made it, mom. I made it out here. Ah, uh ah, -uh. damn. I don't know if you guys saw how much this video, but today we're headed to the Louis Vuitton pop-up. Um, I'm kind of doing the helicopter rides in both videos, but mainly it's going to be the Supreme one. But shout out to the man right here. Pleasure uh, to meet y'all guys. My name is Mikey. Follow me at Money Up Mikey. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There we go, baby. So what we're doing, we're flying from New York to New York City. I'm going to record the whole thing. Mainly going to be in the Supreme video, as I said, but this is surreal, man. Check this out. We got everything molded by the youth on body. Damn, this helicopter coming crazy, too, bro. Damn. 12 seconds later. Damn, yo. What the fuck? Yo, we fly here. Yo, what? What? Peace, yo. Peace. Oh my god. This is crazy. Bro, what the fuck? we did just land i filmed a little bit more right out uh, for the supreme video but we are going to go to louis vuitton pop up by virgil for the fall winter 2019 collection now i did cover the ss19 collection back when it was at the chrome hearts location uh on the west side of the new york it was awesome super great they had but they didn't have it first come first serve they had it online reservations like i reserved my spot in line along with my boy but this time i guess just first come there was no reservation or tickets or nothing for what I'm assuming, and the building's all neon green, so we're gonna have some green screen action as well. Gonna see how I can edit that in, uh, but gonna be dope. It's gonna be here for quite some time, I'm not mistaken. It's right by uh, Bowery, which is right where Supreme is as well. So we're gonna go to Supreme first, see what's good around there, Kith and all that. Then we're gonna head to Louis and check out the newest Virgil Louis Vuitton collection. Two hours later. Boy, we got out of Supreme. If you guys wanna see the Supreme in store video, make sure you check that out. But hold on, I gotta fix this real quick. We lit. All right, so basically, what we're doing right now, I can actually see the building. It's a neon green ass building. The Louis Vuitton pop up, as I said. Uh, we're gonna go in there. This is gonna be a whole separate video. I did, as I said, I did the SS19 one. Figure out I might as well come here for fall winter 19, and we're gonna cover the first day of this public release to the open to the public. It's a big ass neon green building. I'll show you guys in a second. Uh, I'm gonna try to film as much as I can inside. Probably gonna be on the iPhone. Uh, Hopefully it comes out good. If not, then I'll talk a little bit more about it when I get to the crib. But it should be decent. I don't think I'll actually end up pick up anything. 
This shit's a little too pricey for me, but uh, we're gonna see what they got. Maybe pull the trigger on a low key. Samsung LV. You can go, you can go. I don't wanna be in your camera. You're good, you're good. Look at that. Out here on the corner of Punchin and Rivington. Got a decent line out here. That LV is popping there. Damn. That shit looking mad nice. We got a nice little line out here. About to hop inside and see what's good. Someone's mad clever out here. This is what the line looking like. LV, Louis Sitton, baby, yo. I was never scared, so I had to man up, had to stand up. Kill where you've been, kill where you've been, laying low. Counting Benjamins, counting Benjamins on my own. But I had the six, I stay in my ten. I could give a fuck, I'm always winning. Only time we chills when we all do we. Question though, who's the first one to steal this bike and take it home? <laughs> Who that? Who, who's gonna do that shit first, yo? Damn, this shit looking mad nice out here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so the way that this is working at Louis Vuitton this time is it's basically you get your, I don't know how, because last time I was here for the at the Chrome Hearts location, it was basically you e register via email. You could also come first come, but the line was massive. Now it's only first come, essentially, that's what it is. So you, they take your name, they text you, uh, then they text you again when your time is ready to come in line. You have to wait in line again. What's well, typically like an hour and a half, an hour, between, between an hour and two hours of a wait in queue. Then they text you, as I said, and then you can get in line. So we're gonna wait on that. We waited an hour. They said come back in a little bit longer. We told them we had a flight to catch and everything. And they're like, sorry, I can't do nothing about it. So we're gonna have to wait. We're gonna have to vape right now and see what they got in stock. Six and a half hours later. Hold up, and we are, hold up, it's not focused. We are ready to assist you. There you go. Boom. Done. So we're actually coincidentally on our way there too. Uh, we went to Palace, Nike, and all that good stuff. Yeah, what's good? What's good? Oh, oh I'm not ignorant with it. But um, as I said, we're about to head to Louis. See what they got over there. Well, we can't be there too long, so we do got to catch the flight back. So hopefully we catch the good stuff on camera, and uh, we'll show you guys what they got in the new collection. And we back on the block, ladies and gentlemen. Hold up. Oh my god, look at this long ass line, bro. For the non-exclusive water, bro. Non-exclusive water. I want I wanted I wanted that Louis Virgil water, bro. What? Uh, Virgil water? Palace Supreme. Virgil. Yo. Uh uh, we out here. Alright y'all, hope you can hear me. First of all, we got these. Louis shoes right here, tin foil inspired. Price on these is twelve forty. Damn, these are loud as hell. You got number fifty four on the back. You got this, the hat. This is the keep ball, by the way. It inspires like the whole rainbow thing. Very nice all around. Very nice piece. One of the most popular ones here. Then you also got this one. Continuing on with the collection, you got this rainbow duffel and then the belt, the iconic LV belt. We got some more shoes right here. This is one of the low tops. Not a huge fan of this one, but you know, it's all right. And you guys can see, 1,090. We got those right there. This whole entire piece collection. Then we got those. And then over here, we got the sweater. Nice little sweater right here. You guys can see Louis Vuitton on the back. And this is also one of their most popular bags here. That's like a flat, soft case. Don't know the price of this one, but it's coming crazy loud. You guys can see that's the whole entire entrance. That's the line. And that's a wrap. On we got the suitcase right here, all around Louis Vuitton. We got the tops right here. The rainbow shoes coming, continuing on with the collection. 885, kind of like a Converse. It literally is a Converse tattoo sneaker right here. That's what it's called. Got the pouch. Oh, that shit almost dropped. Oh no. We got the sunglasses right here. The shades. $700 right there, bandana, some more shades, we got the headphones, nice ass collection bro. These shades are kind of nice, not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Yo, swag, glasses on glasses, I invented this shit. Ah, yo. Then we got the full jacket out here. This jacket's coming crazy right now. This one, All right, let me get you right here. We got the shoes. This was the bag though that I was looking at, bros. The 
bag right here though, zipper, very exclusive, pop-up exclusive actually, this one, and I got the shoes right there, the brown shoes, these are probably one of my favorites, nice little subtle piece right there, but these, then we got the jacket right there, we got Louis Vuitton, pop-up right there, that'll probably be the thumbnail, we're getting kicked out soon, low tops, high tops, we got everything out here. The shades, the soccer ball. These shoes are tough, not gonna lie. And we also got, this is like all the flags inspired. And then we got over here. Oh, hold up, hold up. This piece is also tough right here. Silky, this is the t-shirt 600. Flags. Yeah, yeah, we got Louis Vuitton. Bags right there, then we also got this one, that one. We have a ton pop up. Uh uh, we have Yo. Thank you. Oh, Louis Vuitton. I'll see you later, bro. Thanks for making us be there for so quick. People still out here. Let's get it. Out of there, ladies and gentlemen. So the one thing I got that I did not like, they kicked us. They tell they kept on coming. On, like you gotta leave. I try to understand. It's hot out. People need to get in and out. But like. We were in there for what, max? 10, 15 minutes? 15, the least. 15 minutes, right. And we waited how long? Like two and a half hours? Oh, we didn't wait in line at least for two and a half hours. Like, I like how they had the queue. Like, they texted us when to come. But, they like, Chrome Hearts for the Fall Winter 19 uh, unveiling, they did not rush us out. We could sit in there how long as I want. I videotaped uh, with the camera, with the iPhone, with everything. So right now, as you guys saw, I only had the iPhone available to film. They were like pictures only. And I somehow got around that. <laughs> I don't know how, but I did. Um, I got the alarm coming in my ear, but there were some cool pieces. I'm gonna talk all about it at home because right now we're in a rush to get to the back, to the helicopter, back to the chopper. You know what I'm saying? Back to the chopper. But uh, I'll talk about more at home, all about the pieces, the prices, and the one piece I actually would have copped if she wasn't rushing me. Nah, I probably wouldn't have copped if she wasn't rushing me out of there, but it was probably the only piece I would have considered. <laughs> And we are back ladies and gentlemen so that day was pretty fun i had an ecstatic time on the helicopter sorry if the video was a little bit choppy i try to put great great transitions in there but sometimes it got a little repetitive and the palace and supreme video i did go to palace i picked up a bunch of stuff you guys will be able to see it right here i'm gonna be doing the full unboxing in tomorrow's supreme video i'm hoping to post the other yeezy video today as well the in-store loop and tomorrow will be the live cop or today it's just getting a mess. I tried to get it out yesterday. I couldn't get home in time. It was just a mess. But we did cook up the Yeezys. We got a few pairs as well. Successful live cop as well as successful in store. But Louis Vuitton, I got to talk about real quick because it was fun. It was, uh, we got kicked out, man. She wouldn't let me film no more. You guys saw, start, like, you started seeing the last few clips. I want to actually show you guys the bags and everything. But she was like, no, nah, you can only take pictures and get out. That's why it was like a seven second clip for the Louis Vuitton brown monogram bags, and then for the actual clothes, I couldn't film any of that either. So you guys saw the main parts though. The only, they, the only thing they didn't have was the clear, well, they had the clear purse, you know, the little purse for $1,400. That wasn't that bad, pop-up exclusive. Then they also had the clear uh, plastic backpack. They now have that no more. And this was the first they opened in the public. Before it was like VIP, friends and family, and all that good stuff. Hence, a lot of the good stuff was already taken and sold out. The shoes were pretty much the basic ones, but there was the $40,000 keep ball, the one that lights up and all that. She said it's only made to order and they can ship it to you, but it's very expensive because shipping a bag with a battery in it to the US is very hard from France. So therefore they don't have any on display, but they think that one will come in eventually. But the, the actual thing is on 100 Rivington, St Rivington Street and the Lower East Side, if you guys are interested in actually going. I'm gonna pull up, I think it ends on the 28th. Hold up, it's headed right here. Louis Vuitton Fall, Fall, this is Fall Winter 19, I know I messed it up, this was the Fall Winter 19 collection, and it's going to end on July 21st in New York City, 
and it was fun. I mean, there's a lot of good pieces out there. You can only be there for like 10 minutes max. At least that was for my day because opening day, a lot of people waiting in line. They said in and out. But the lady was great. She told us we had like a little tour. I should have not asked for a tour. I should have just tried to film instead. It kind of got mixed up. But their tour was nice. She was a great lady. She worked uh, pretty well, but she was just trying to get me the hell out of there. She's going to tell me, you got to leave, you got to leave, you got to leave. But she told us how the flags are incorporated in all the style because... It represents everybody from Virgil's design team. So you had a Ghana flag. Uh, I think you had a France flag in there, of course, that was given. There were some other flags in there you guys might have saw in the video as well. But every uh, employee there also had a flag in their back pocket for where they're from originally as well. Shows like different cultures mixing together into one eccentric style. Uh, other than that, though, it was, it was smaller than the last one, though. The last one I went to was spring, summer 2019, I think. I keep on getting all these dates mixed up. But that one, honestly, I did like that one a little bit better just because it was a bigger space. No rush. And it was VI, like, we signed up, so I guess it was, like, not VIP, but we had priority service to get in. We didn't have to wait in line or nothing, so that was a little bit better, but I'd recommend it. If you guys could definitely check it out, I would definitely recommend it. And if not, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll show you guys a little in-store exclusive, uh, because a lot of people can't really record in there. And if you guys can't even get out there, I hope you guys enjoy this one. So thank you guys so much for watching, and please subscribe to the channel. Almost at 18,000 subscribers, I appreciate it so much. Thank you guys for, so much for watching. Peace.